Right, fellas, welcome back. Uh, we've been busy tinkering around with the uh, control panel. I've been doing some rewiring. My goodness. And uh, the shocking thing is, is that uh, I didn't shock myself. And uh, things are friggin' working. I think the last update I did with the look at this spider. Look at this friggin' spider. I think the last update I did on the pumps was we'd got them sort of in, but we hadn't wired them up because I was waiting on dimmer switches and uh, gecko fittings. Well, the friggin' dimmer switches arrived, didn't they? So that's the control panel front. You've seen it a thousand times before. And there was another switch like this one there which operated one of the pumps, the old pumps. So I got shut of it and I pulled all the wires out of the uh, buzz bars and made room for the two dimmer switches that are now situated here and they friggin sit there just nice and neat and friggin awesome like. And then underneath the wiring to them is just um, a live and a neutral coming out of the transformer for both giving power to them and then uh, the returning cables going out um, going out to the pumps which are these and um, this switch is the isolation switch like I said nothing happens you see nothing happens until you turn this on and then it puts power to everything I've just had a run in a little bit today just to really clean out the, uh, the coil so I've got in here some cleaner and um, well I'll show you what she's like goosing out going through that 10mm coil so I open her up and uh, slide her on she's um, gonna force her way through the coil and outwards so that's at full pelt going through the 10mm coil which I don't think is a bad rate at full pelt and um, I had it in here for about I'd say the best part of an hour probably longer had it recirculating the uh, the cleaning fluid through the coil because that coil hasn't been used for ages I was expecting spiders and free and all sorts to be shooting out of it dead slugs and whatnot but um, there's not been a vast amount come out there's just been like a few little granulated little bits of muck probably dust that's blown in uh, it might have even come out of the, uh, the pipes or off the pipes when I dangled them in I don't know but there hasn't been a vast amount come out of it so I know it's nice and clean in there the pumps man I mean this is this is whisper quiet compared to the to the old pumps I had there is something that I need to keep an eye on with these pumps now I came back in after an hour of leaving it running and I looked into the mash tun just to see if any muck had come in and there were two tiny 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 little plastic um, like this like washers I was thinking where the hell have they come from I they couldn't think where they come from the only place they could have come from is the pump but I didn't see any when I took it to bits um, and it was baffling me so I took them out I put them on the side and I took the other pump that we're not using at the minute to bits to uh, to have a look if I could see anything that resembled these little washers and there are there's three little white washers um, two that sit right at the back of the pump and one that sits at the front so it's like sandwiching the um, the impeller and magnet setup on the spindle now I think what's happened is this and I'm going to put you on the tripod and take the other one to bits because it might be something for you to look out for if you get them yourself so I'll get you on the tripod and I'll show you right so I'm going to undo this one look at this fucker sticks like shit don't stick to nothing don't stick to nothing so these unscrew like I've shown you previously can you see see that little white washer down there well that actually comes out moves up and down look now that one ain't the problem uh, the ones that are the problem the ones that come off I think were the ones that are inside here so if you take this out 
like so and look in the bottom you can probably just about make them out them two little washers them two little washers come out and I think what they've done on the pump that we're using at the minute is I've took the pump off and the two little washers have been sat here and then as I've engaged everything back together because it's magnetic I've put it in like that and just watch the magnet it sucks the magnet in now of course it sucks it in like that and pulls the washers off so then you end up with washers that aren't where they're meant to be and they're just sort of loose in the body and then I've turned it on it spat them out so the way around it is just to be super duper careful so when I put them back in now I put the two washers oh, I got my hands sticks like shit so now when I put it back in the housing the two washers are on there I just put a finger on the magnet so it doesn't pull it off and then just put it in like so and that's it so yeah apart from that happening I haven't had a problem with the pumps running today they've run like I say for the best part of an hour they're running again now uh, what well, this pump no leaks no faff no hassle no dicking around with anything it's been an absolute breeze and I can't wait to get a brew on so coils cleaned out I'm just gonna empty out this cleaning solution uh, put some fresh water in here run the fresh water through the coil to clean it out and uh, give it a rinse and that's it So uh, there you go, that's it, another video. So as always guys, don't forget to thumb up this video because you don't want to do. Don't forget to subscribe, there's a little button down in there to subscribe, click on your own subscribe, come to the next other video, go to the other video, until next time, I'm out of here.